right, Coach. Under hazy, overcast L.A. skies, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Dignity Health Sports Park in Carson, California. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Green Bay Packers. Yeah, I don't know. And, and, the, and then he advanced the a week on Saturday, right? Late as fuck. And so because he mad, he trying to have an advance it off this week. about a yard deep. A pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29 yard. Line. I don't care, you know, keep this shit moving. I don't, I'm all for it. You know, we would have we we'd have been done. I just want my money. Here's Dalvin Cook, third he a little upset. Florida State. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the he just, You know, it's upset line. looking at You know what I'm saying? Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels. Because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And that is incomplete. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. And this one so hits the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Interesting. Got it. Four, Mike, five, four. Mike, five, four. Let's go, Pete. Big series right here. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Looking left sideline, it's complete. Fighting down past Ooh, the Whoa, block for me. And all the way down. That nigga was just standing there. He wouldn't even block. It's a big play that time for the Packers. 45 yards. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. A first carry for the former Falcon, Tevin Coleman. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. They run with Adrian Peterson, the second active leading rusher in the NFL. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? What? He overthrew him. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. It would be a very makeable field goal try from here, but instead they're going to go for it. Back to throw here. Finding Knox there, complete. 
Well, peel back the curtain, partner. We've got a pretty good look into how they plan to play this game. Aggressive seems to be the word. Going for it on fourth down in that situation. Yeah. What you talking about? Opening drive. Now, we know this coaching staff, they have traits of aggression in their history, but what a start to this game. They're going for it. Yeah, a lot of people might say reckless, but they got it. One for one on fourth down here early in the game. It was the first down. You know it was only 30 inches, right? It was... Yeah, I only needed inches, nigga. I didn't need a yard. I didn't even need a yard. They'll run with Coleman on first down. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. A right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers putting their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. It's Coleman here. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. Good first step there defensively, but they're still knocking on the doorstep, so maybe another run here? I think so. One of my favorite coaches, you say, son, if you could darn near lay down near the end zone and get in, <laughs> give me my best. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Green Bay touchdown. Tevin Coleman, his fourth touchdown on the year, as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. The extra point up and good. And good that opening drive. Seven nothing. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is fielded at the goal line, and his guys will get the football right at the twenty-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. Now the pass hauled in by Kenny Stills. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. A gain there of 21 yards. First down, here's the run with Cook. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now Mahomes on the bootleg. Blitz coming and down he goes. Nick Bosa. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. You know darn well both of these teams reviewed the film and saw that this defense had five sacks last week. They got to keep their QB upright. And they're going to try their best to do exactly that. But they're facing a team where getting to the quarterback is a mindset. It's a mantra for them. And they put in a heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked up by Josh Jones. Amendola, he was the intended target. Now they told us repeatedly earlier in the week in our meetings, we need some plays from our defense here on the road early. They got one. And don't think they were above all week long pointing out to their defense that the other defense is rated higher than them. 
You gonna let that happen, guys? Is that how we're going to play? And they responded to the challenge. So good field position for the Packers as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Looking deep downfield into a double team and a tackle. He came off his man. I don't know why he did that. I watched him stop He's covering Gabriel. Look at that shit. That's bullshit. That wasn't one of them. Well, we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because for the most part, what they've seen, it's been pretty sensational. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. He was solid last week, over 100 yards in their victory on the ground. They want to get that going again. Absolutely. What they also understand is that from week to week, it's not necessarily the same, but they want it to be. Right? Why did they do that? Did you see what he just did? This game as well. That's all the way down to the 37. That's bullshit, bro. I don't know why he did that. He took the wrong angle for what? For a chain mover. They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They'll run with a former fight. He tripped. Did you see that shit? They doing it on purpose, dog. They doing it on purpose. He fell Despite all by himself. Okay. They give me your little drive. I can't control it. So I'm going to do this. Like they were able to exploit right there. Second down, McKinnon. That he is going to be stopped cold behind the Yeah, I just changed my defense. The tally there minus Changed my defense. So they was giving you bullshit. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Mahomes looking to throw on third and two. And he is going to wind up losing yardage here. As that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. NFL kickers nowadays, they make things look so easy because normally from this range, about two out of three. And this is not an easy kick. Yeah, 20 years ago, you get where he was in that 50 range, maybe a little over. And it's a big kick, but now we just, if they leave it short, you're like, whoa, what happened? And that's that's what we have here. Yeah, you're right. 20 years ago, we were saying run some more plays and get closer. Now we think they're definitely within range, and you're exactly right. When it comes up short, there has to be something that went wrong because they have plenty of leg. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Second and five. And he hits his running back, Tevin Coleman. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Marcus Davenport in there to bury him for a loss of 11. On play action, they'll throw. This into the hands of Marvin Hall, complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 23 yards to pick up there. Or the evolution of the game and how these guys and plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive. It just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does. And we're talking about 
an era in the game where the quarterbacks are the most athletically gifted that we've seen in a bunch. I mean, when you talk about collectively, it's unbelievable. So their ability to move is practiced now. It's not necessarily, oh, he just took off and you guys figure it out. When he takes off, everyone knows where to go now. They know how to run routes, change things, make themselves presentable for the quarterback. It's a lot of time that they put in on it. It's not just your static one, two, three. This is where the ball goes anymore. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Come on, baby. Let's see what you got. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. Now back to throw. His throw caught right around the six. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, this is how you shake the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Tevin Coleman with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. Extra point right down the middle. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Out is the mm, kickoff unit this as they run up and send this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. The Charger drive about to get going. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Following the good run by Cook, here's another first and ten. Now Mahomes, and Stills bringing it in. Well, we, did you see that? And he takes it down deep into Green Bay territory. What you mean? It's a big we hawking you down? Chargers. 52 yards. Because he's 96 speed. Execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? <laughs> I wonder what the next play call is going to be because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. They'll run on first down. Cook. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. Give him maybe a yard, quite the opposite from the previous big gainer. Well, earlier this half, you were wondering how they were going to defend him. I think you used the term, bottle him up at different levels. They've struggled to do that. They certainly have, because when you see them approach, in order to bottle him up at different levels, that front line's got to take care of business. Otherwise, he starts to sit there. Here's McKenna. And he takes it in for I took the bad angle. That was all me. Jarek McCannon it took a bad fucking angle. 12 on the year as they are now on the board here in the first half. Solid job up front, really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. That was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run, end result. Too bad no more doing that play on Madden 21. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold. Tall the stretch, off the stretch. They took that shit. They, they nerfed that shit. This is fielded at the goal line. And it'll be taken okay, that's all everybody do. The 20 at about the 21 yard line. Let's go 
The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And, you know, certainly a lot of football left to be played. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're first place in their division. And got his man complete. That one good for 37 yards. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But a true that's, no, that's hard, is, nigga. That ball from the Lions. Streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around to make a play on the football. We've hit the two minute mark of the second quarter. All my niggas 70 overall, seven. niggas. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping Coming for. Up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. The so, coach. Sorry, we get slap happy up here sometimes. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. That'll he pick up a 32 on the catch and roll. Well, my tight end at 92. Fuck yeah, 69 overall though. So now following the big play, they've got a first and goal all the way down at the 10. They'll look to throw here. Now he's got it. Add the gain here to the previous play and it's better than 40 yards total. I had to catch it myself. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So you got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. Second down in inches. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Dawson Knox, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown pass his young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had, I just continue to be more and more impressed. Let's both do the analysis. Impressed, aren't we both? Yeah. I mean, and why shouldn't we be? We've seen him improve throughout the year. We've seen him settle in now, and you can see the confidence of the team has grown. His confidence has grown. I think that everyone around this guy feels good about what they've seen. And it's also safe for him when he's driving home to turn on Sports Talk Radio. He's okay. The Charger drive about to get going. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You've got to push. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. The sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. The Packers are going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack from Mahomes and company. Now here's Mahomes. And he's going to go down again. Now the Packers are going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. On is the Chargers punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And it's fielded at the 34. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. There's really no reason to change what they've been doing to this point. They've got the lead, they've looked good this first half. 
I agree with you totally, and a lot of coordinators, play callers feel exactly the same way. Until you stop what I'm doing, why should I make any changes? But there are a few that kind of outguess themselves or try to outguess Damn it, you over to try to consider what they would do to take things away and go to those plays right away. It'll be fun to watch when they get to the second half. Way over to way they go. Yeah, but to this point, it certainly hasn't been broke. We'll see if they try to fix anything. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Second and ten. Yeah, he'll find Hall. And he's got this down to the 35. Now the Packers are going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. This quarterback now over 200 yards already in this first half. It's first and ten. They'll set up a throw. Over the middle complete. That's Hall. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Back-to-back -back plays of right around 30 yards and the field position has totally been flipped. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. And now a timeout defensively after that first down play. So they're going to make this offense sweat out half number one. And his kick is right there. It's good. And that will do it for this first half. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? So it's the Packers set to receive the kick. They've got the lead as well as we are underway in the third quarter. Fielded about a yard deep. Damn. And he'll probably wish he'd reconsidered here. It will cost him 10 yards as he's down at the 15. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these team special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. The third quarter starts with a run by Peterson. How is he nice jumping on my back like yards. that? And it'll be second down. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there. They only have 70 the overall. Again, Peterson. And this one will go to the 28 yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop. Mine's all in the 70s. They rookies. On first down, it's Coleman. Space to maneuver at the 40. And he'll get this down to the 39-yard line. It's a gain of 34. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 13 yards, first down Packers. And while we're seeing more and more of these plays come from the college game into the NFL, and that one, it was run with great success, how about the evolution of the offensive linemen? We're seeing less and less big guys who can't move, and more and more guys who are a lot more mobile and can get out in front of that type of a play. They'll run on first down. Coleman. The tackle made by Levi Wallace third quarter and you've got the lead you're not ready to go into that four minute offense to close the game out but a running game can really benefit your team right now second and six 
My bad, Coleman. Oh, my bad, my bad, brother. Showing no mercy, flies in for the sack. But nothing takes a start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the. No, football. he came to one touch. That's what it very, was. Very fickle man. Okay. This is target, it's Taylor Gabriel. And he's gonna take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Taylor Gabriel, his second touchdown on the season. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high flying plays, but a good number of them played running what, back the spin at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays, run after the catch. And this time he finishes off the big play in the end zone. Point after, right down the middle. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and what? they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. Well, you know my mix. You know I play off timing, though. The -yard line. I'm a, well, only after three seconds I get the ball go. Oh, uh -huh. I don't know. I got you. I mean, you know your team. The Charger drive about to get going. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger. But no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing. And try and get back to where you were to start the half. They'll break the huddle. Come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Mahomes going to throw. That'll be complete to Cook. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They go play action. Now Mahomes. Rush coming, and he's taken down. I think we've seen this before. Someone's down three scores. That situation there, it's just going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Three score game, third quarter, three and out. Not what they wanted. And you can tell on the sideline, those faces are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. The Chargers were best in the NFL. Seven of eight on fourth down last year. And they're going here. Here we go. Fourth down, Mahomes. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. A surprising move to go for it, predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off, and now the football is going to go over, already being placed at the 15-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Looking come on zone, but it's incomplete he was trying to hit taylor gabriel that time but it'll be second down finally a good play there defensively on the deep ball the secondary has had its struggles this entire game offensively they've had their way with them so after the incompletion on first now second and ten on second down it's coleman and he's able to get this inside the ten now to the nine Second down, a little more productive than first. Seven yards on the gain. It gets him to third and three now. They will run again with Coleman. Good fucking and shit. And they'll be driven back here, losing <sighs> yardage to the 10-yard line. Disappointed in that shit right here. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game against them, but tally that one on the side of the defense. Do you think maybe, possibly, it could be a little bit of a changer for them? Maybe not a game changer, but a little bit of a momentum one that maybe they can string together some pretty good plays and slow them down. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point, or in this case, a field goal.
The Charger drive about to get going. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense, so they held him to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, he caught that. more careful here. And sometimes good when shit. you see these calls on fourth down when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what you happened there. You think that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. Pass the 20. And he's in. Good shit. Charger touchdown. Jarek McCannon. You actually tricked me on that play. Touched out of the year and second of the game. And the Chargers, they're able to cut into that deficit. Tricked me like a motherfucker. Gold with the extra point and the lead now down to 20. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. You put it through the post, that's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about Toe that. Toe bash. <laughs> Super tough. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down slant routes effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball but when you have a receiver of that stature you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it you don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets they'll try and run for it here it's oh you saw him get in my way get there that won't even be close it was blown up in the backfield it's a loss of a full three yards and it brings up fourth down He'll look to throw. Looking left side, and it's complete. Yeah. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Packers. A big play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. Extra point splits the uprights, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. I know. That's why I did that. It was a pass play when I first picked it, and I audible to a run play because I saw you spaced out. And then I ran the original play the second time. You know what I'm saying? And it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace. I ain't fucking that angle up no more. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier. With the Give ball me that. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. But there's no trace of nervousness there. He was able to diagnose that play from his linebacker position, stay in excellent coverage, and bat the ball away. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. Defensively, they rallied the troops to force fourth down after that seven-yard pickup back on first. Let's get it. This will probably be the last play of the quarter. Coming to you, coming to you. 
They do go for it. It's Mahomes. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. down. It's Coleman. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. Charles, you said earlier this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20 behind a long time ago in this game, didn't they? It looks like they're headed towards a big, big number. The 20 was the throw. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. 12-yard touchdown run as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. And my friend, I think it's safe to say that this game is pretty much deceased at this point. It, it's taken a knee, so to speak. It is definitely this victory formation. Take the snap, take the knee, call it a night, you know, call it a game, call it whatever. I agree with you totally. I don't think there's much left to get except for those who want to run up the score. I knew this was He's about loose. a minute ago. Get him. You took your stat sheet and just Fuck. kept it over your shoulder in the trash can. Yeah, that's that's, why, yeah, that's similar to the guys cutting tape off yeah. right before the game's over. We know this thing's done. No, I'm not going to do that. The Charger drive about to get going. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points. So blitz coming and down he goes. Jordan Evans gets him for a loss of five. He is so tough to handle on the blitz, and that's exhibit A. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Mahomes now to throw. It's complete still. That's my fucking fault. To get this one across the 35. That's okay. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. I'm aware of that. Mahomes now five straight completions here in this second half. First and 10. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Rush coming, and he's taken down. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Another try after the first down. Good set. screen. Mahomes setting up the screen. Give me the oh, he threw me. Midfield, that nigga threw me. Being taken down. That one covers 29. Wow. Yards. First down. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. Mahomes firing complete. Patrick Mahomes in the fourth. Let's go. Terrence Williams, his second touchdown on the season. And the Chargers are able to close the gap just a bit. They let Mahomes pull a drive together. And Not only able to catch it, come back here and get into the end zone. It usually involves a little bit of an extra move, doesn't it? You've got to get them thinking that you're moving to the middle of the field and you're breaking away to that corner. But that was well executed. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. The outcome of this one, well, we know who's going to win it. It's just all window dressing at this point. Got me thinking, what's, what's the biggest blowout that you've been a part of as a player, a broadcaster? No, I'm not going to go to the player part because when I think blowout... Because you won every game as a player. No, no, no. I think about being blown out. <laughs> and no one wants to go back to those memories. But, you know, when I was calling college football, I saw a game that... Through an opening, and there he goes. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Nicole Hardman with touchdown number 12 on the year as his guys continue to pour it on. 
extra point right down the middle. And the lead will swell by one more. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is fielded a couple yards deep. Give me that! The decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. The Charger drive about to get going. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive, that culminated touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. You keep running like this, I'm going to have to come out the zone. A big run already in this game, and for a second, that would look like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes you'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level. Good pass. Deeper into the secondary. Give him 15 yards on that They letting this nigga dock this bitch in the fourth down. quarter. Brandon, so many times we see the crossing route start as a quick hitter, but in this play, he had time in the pocket and waited for him to clear going across. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Put the end to that shit. And down he goes. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. After the sack on first down. Ready for that shit. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the score. They tried to get there. Had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. Give me that! And it's incomplete, almost intercepted. He had a great shot. That was a good fucking throw. You gotta catch that, down. my nigga. They are, by the way, into the fourth quarter now in Oakland, and it's the line. Terrell, dog, I got you over there, man. And if they could hold on to that lead, it would be win number four on the season for them. They're already oh, no. slim. Hopes are gonna ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. Got him. And double coverage and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 21. And he'll bring this one back to the 20. Use alert. He didn't see you. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage. They've all been excellent. And now they'll attack. I'm the one caught it. What you mean? This one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. I was. That's why I said user. That's why I was using all. Record it. You'll see. I was on him the whole time. When you say a hike. The Packer offense. The game won't give me a use alert. Underway. And this game comfortably. If you're not on the guy. Speaks for itself. You still got your starting quarterback out there. When you go to the backup, let him get some time. And that's and now nothing but green ahead of him. Twenty. 10 and he will get into the end zone it's another touchdown this thing is ugly are you talking about the dominating rushing performances that you and i have seen together this has got to be right up there his fourth touchdown run of the game and another long one to boot and i don't need to ask for a witness because you're right here with me we are watching this and we're watching such a performance that is demoralizing for anyone on defense. You know, it starts out, coaches screaming, tackle it, get it. 
And after that last touchdown, I bet it's pure silence on that side of the ball. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Here we go. The Charger drive about to get going. See, I'm on cash, man, right now. Like I'm on them right now, like moving around. That's why I'm always on. When we is on. And see, now waiting, not to make my assessment. That's a good pass. You threw away from him that time. That does him no good to go back and say, well, you know where the good one going? Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Working from the gun. Mahomes. Got him. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Fabian Moreau. And his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. It looked like you threw it a little early, though. So Packer football here as we welcome you back. And yeah, they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here, first and ten. They start the drive with Peterson. And he'll be corralled out across midfield. I forgot about you, AP. I did. yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Inside the 30, and he gets this one down to the 24. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Good game, gun. First down, here's a run with Damn it, 64. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific Good play. Good game, guys. Him to no gain. Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. 